Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome over here to the Death Car Shell Dirt Ringer Series Season 3 2014 on RTL7. We are here for race number 4 of the season at Hilltop Speedway, the Napa 250. This race is going to be um, 250 miles, so not too long, but you will see those. there will be 50 lap race, so that's quite a lot. But those 50 laps will be over before you know it, probably. So, we have the number 68 car of Chris Washer on the pole and this outside is uh, PJ Williams in the 19 car who somehow ended up 4th in points. So we have to go through a couple of things first. Uh, the one thing is we have a different driver in the number 77 car after a hard hit that Nisa Steinauer uh, has been injured. And it will, it's not a severe injury, it's just a concussion. And she will be back um, when we return after my t one and a half week holiday. So the 18th of August, somewhere around that date, will be the next race, five, the fifth race. And she will be back then, but this time it is Denise van Leeuwe driving. And Denise van Leeuwe, this is a very tactical move. Uh, why is Denise van Leeuwe driving? Well, um, the key, because Denise van Leeuwe picked up her first career win... At the Utica Rome Speedway, her first win came at a dirt track, so that is why they put Denise van Leeuwen in there to see what she can do. On the other hand, we have seen four drivers who did great on one race, and then so they thought, well, you know what, she did great on the dirt, let's do put her in a dirt car over here replacing somebody else, and that did not pay off. So we'll have to see what uh, how this will play uh, pay off for Denise van Leeuwen. She's starting pre far in the back as well, so... And about the other drivers, uh, Joseph Onesto, Alex Stanker, and Dom Kapp, we haven't heard anything yet. It might be possible that they are not racing, but I will. they are still in the cars, at least. Their names are on top of here, but if uh, they uh, apparently are not driving the car, then I will just um, they'll put it in the description, like a note, like I also did with Momo Akari. Uh, it wasn't like no Tomomo Akari is driving the 14 car in the Gulf Super Speedway Series and not Saya Sumi as she has been injured so um, that is how it's going to be over here let's take you through our point standings we got still in the points lead the 88 car of Nick Caps and he's starting pretty far up front I think no this racetrack I cannot really see where they are starting but uh, I thought it was pretty far up front but apparently it is not 12 car of Daniel Voyle second in points Right two is outside. That's gonna be very interesting. Third in points we got this number thirty-four car of Jordan Culp. And by the way, Daniel Voyles two points behind Nick Caps. Jordan Culp uh, seven points behind Nick Caps. So uh, Jordan Culp starting a little further to the back, two rows to the back, uh, two rows back from those others. Then once again, the nineteen car of Peter Williams starting on the front row, fourth in points. He is twelve points behind Nick Caps. Fifth in points is still the number 12, 10 car of Zachary Fitzwater. And he is 13 points behind Nick Caps. Sixth in points is one of our winners this season. Actually, I think he's the, she's the best in points from all the winners. Um, yeah, Chris Washer is in 10th and Jane Pinter is in 13th. So, Sonic Horse is sixth in points. She's starting pretty far. Oh, she was starting towards the front. Oh, yeah. Row number three. So, that's good for her. Then we got 7th in points, oh damn it, 7th in points, the 60 car of Anna Greg, she's starting right next to the 10 car and right behind the 34 car, so they are close together over there. Then 8th in point. oh by the way, uh, Sonic Course is 14 points behind Nick Caps, tied with Anna Greg actually, 15 points behind um, Nick Caps is Justin Yee, and he is 8th in points, 16 points behind Nick Caps, it's so close over here, is um, the 15 car of Gabe Williams, so both the Williamses are starting uh, up front, one, and both the Williamses are pretty far up front in points, both in the top 10, so that's good, uh, good showing for the Williamses over here, 9th in points, and then 10th in points we got with 21 point different dif uh, deficit, the 68th car of Chris Watcher, who is also your points leader, so late, uh, Paul Sitter, excuse me, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start this race Hilltop Raceway, it is by the way, not Speedway. This race um, going to be a lot of passing, that's for sure. Rex, not sure. I think this actually might be <laughs> a wreck fest, from what I remember from the from the uh, qualifying race. And yeah, okay, this is normal over here. Don't worry about that. It is normal. 
why that happens I don't know but it happens so coming around once again uh, not the best camera angles but it will be good enough we got the 68 car of Chris Washer on the pole the 19 car is to his outside ladies and gentlemen the green flag is out over here at Hilltop Raceway Yeah, these camera angles are really you think like th at this point they are already ha they are just halfway in the corner but they already ex exit in the corner damn it camera angle so we got dumb caps now he's running in second position at least if he's driving the car and he's going to make the move to the inside we see nick caps as well all the way to the inside making it three wide probably and the caution is out and involved were Denise van Leeuwen and Alex Tanker. Once again, these two cars were involved in the crash. So, everybody's slowing down again. I have actually <laughs> no clue how this race is handling with cautions and if cars run into each other. Well, one thing is for sure, the pace cars picked up the wrong guys. But that doesn't really matter in, in this um, type of racing. they just The pace car just passes them. They have just have to wait. That is dumb caps and... Joshua Michaels in the 04 car. Usually in like a uh, real series it is a whole lot of carnage uh, when the pace car picks up the wrong people. They have to let the whole field by. And I just don't understand it. Why can't you just let the leader wait for a moment and say like yo the pace car is behind you just calm down and let the pace car pass you. That is so stupid. I don't know why they do that but makes no sense at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Fact is, caution number one is out over here at Hilltop Raceway. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at what happened over here. Caution number one. So, it started with the 77 car of Denise van Leeuwen, who got turned by the 13 car of uh, Annie Thomas. And there is contact made, and she shoots right into Alex Tanker. Nowhere to go for Alex Tanker. And actually, not. Uh, really for the 77 car as well and both hit the inside wall pretty hard not sure how much damage is it has done I, at least not as much as in the, <laughs> the buffalo downs race where those cars were completely torn up let's take another look at this there is contact made with Denise van Leeuwen and Annie Thomas and Denise van Leeuwen just slides around hits the wall Alex Tanker does the same thing but Denise can continue away pretty quickly again so ladies and gentlemen that's caution number one, not too big of an incident. Let's see what will the rest of the race will bring as we bring you back to green flag racing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. And as you can see, no car is out of the race yet. So that means we got dummy caps in the lead. Second position for Joshua Michaels. Third is Chris Washer. Fourth, we got Nick Caps points leader. Fifth is Andrew Robinson. Sixth, Joseph Ernesto. John Cittadino in 7th position, Jordan Culp in 8th, that's very important for him. Gabe Williams in 9th, also important, and Zachary Fitzwater in 10th position. So a lot of top 10 contenders over here in the top uh, 10. So we'll see what they can do. Ladies and gentlemen, the 63 car of Dom Caps will bring them back to the green flag. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure nothing else happened already in the back. And look at Joshua Michaels, look at Chris Washer. Chris Washer, he thought about making it three wide, but thought the better of it. And now he slides in behind the 04 car, but now he does make it four, three wide, almost gets loose. But they save it. Joshua Michaels is a new leader, but it is Dom Caps, excuse me, Chris Washer now in the lead. And in the back they are all swer swerving around. Here comes the 25 car, ooh. Chris Washer cut it down low, right in front of Andrew Robinson. And Robinson is now going to take second position and slide in behind the 68 car. But not for long. And here he comes with a move to the inside. Here comes Gabe Williams as well. Jordan Culp is coming to the front. And Jordan Culp cuts right... Man, Jordan Culp just cut right in front of the 15 car. I still think that is a BMW every time I see it driving. But it's a Pontiac. And Jordan Culp to the inside of Andrew Robinson. As I had already said, there are going to be a lot of passing... Um, things so Jordan Culp in the lead now and he's th these two guys have driven away a little bit from the field oh damn it pace car 
There is the 88 car of Nick Caps, your points leader, running in third position. Here comes Andrew Robinson back again on the 34 car. Mm, close, almost made contact over there, but they sort it out. And Andrew Robinson is the leader at the line. We might have a crash in the back indeed. Oh, and a big one as well. Car flipping over. Joshua Michaels tumbling wild. The 04 car of Joshua Michaels went for a heck of a ride over here. Jason Sinclair for the second race in a row as well. And there's this 96 car. My, 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 what a huge crash that was. Jeff Levi might have been involved in this as well. And the Greg as well. Oh, oh man, another bad race for these two. And PJ Williams, fourth in points. Alex Tanker now with even more damage. My, 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 we had a huge crash over here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a look at this. Joshua Michaels is officially now your first flipper this season. And... Uh, the 88 car has damage to the rear of his car. Not sure what all happened over here, but he clearly has damage. It's not a glitch. So we're going to take a look at that as well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> suddenly this race has turned into carnage. Let's take a look at what happened over here. Caution number two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the wildest wrecks of the season so far. Uh, first off... Uh, we remember two races ago at Orange County, uh, Chris Washer flipped over, but it was after the start finish, or after the finish, I mean. So that doesn't count as an official flip. However, this will count. And wow, what a way. But it doesn't start off with 04 car, it started off with 21 car of Kyle Thomas. And take a look at this Michael Waltrip did it once. Uh, there was Mike Norman, or no, I'm not sure who else did it. But there, he just hit that pit wall. Or not the outside wall. That is really dangerous place. And then Joshua Michaels gets struck hard by the 66 car. Gets launched up into the air. Right in front of the 96 car. That is Justin Yee, teammate of Jason Sinclair. PJ Williams runs into the 21 car. Joshua Michaels tumbling over gets hit there. By the 02 car of Alex Tanker. And ends up on his roof. So... That is flip number one over here of the season. Justin Yee, Cal Thomas over there, and also Jason Sinclair. I think Justin Yee might be fine though. Alex Tanker also, he, he continued this way. So let's take another look at this. Cal Thomas, wow. Went a little bit too high, struck that opening over there of the guardrail. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is one heck of a few. We're gonna take a look at this. Look at this. There, he, you can see he went just a little bit too high. Bang. Gets shot up back on the racetrack, and Joshua Michaels gets collected. Is flying through the air, tumbling over. Typical dirt track, dirt track flip, actually. Now, what happened to Nick Caps? That is also something I really want to know. They slowed down. Nick Caps was actually in front of. Uh, Jordan Culp. Did he get run into by Justin Yee? That actually might be what happened over here. Oh my! Justin Yee just ran straight into near Caps. Well, that is very interesting. After the caution, Justin Yee ran straight into near Caps. This is... That's, that's amazing. Not sure what Justin Yee was thinking over there. Look at that. That's just weird. We're gonna take a look at it after the race. There will be a uh, post-race investigation on just on this incident over here. I cannot tell if there will be penalties. We'll have to see and discuss with Daskar. First of all, I want to take a look at Joshua Michael's flip from the onboard crash. The onboard. Not the onboard crash, but the onboard camera. Here we go. On board with Joshua Michaels, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Ouch. Oh. Wow. Oh my. You thought it was over? No. Alex Tanker came flying by. Did a lot of damage to Alex Tanker's car and he's most likely out of this race. Ooh, the pace car went <laughs> into the pit wall. Interesting things happening over here, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Rowanson is your leader. Big crash now. Let's take you back to the green flag. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with the 25 car of Alan Robinson in the lead. Second is Nate Caps with damage in the lead. Third, we got the 34 car of Jordan Culp. Fourth is the 51 car of Sonic Horse. Fifth, we got the 15 car of Gabe Williams. Sixth is John Cirodino. Seventh is Larry Hagan. Eighth, we got Chris uh, Washer. Ninth is Jackson Brown. And in tenth position, the number 10 car of Zachary Fitzwater. So there's one lap car. Gonna take a look at this. Out of the race, most likely Alex Tanker. Jason Sinclair, Joshua Michaels, and Kyle Thomas, and all the others are still racing. So, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, what will happen over here? The green flag is out once again. And we'll see how much damage Nick Caps has from this incident. If he's still up to speed, um, well, that will help Justin Yee in that case. And it seems like he is still up to speed as he's going to make it three wide with uh, Jordan Culp over here, and he takes the lead. But now Jordan Culp takes the lead, followed by Sonic Horse in the 51 car. Larry Hagan to the, on the inside as well. Not even halfway home. No caution. It's a little bit slow over here. It's the number 4 car of Momo Ikari. I'm not sure why. She has must have had some damage. But I'm not sure what. Oh man, that was close. You can really see how tricky this racetrack is. It's, we're going to take an onboard. We're going to take some onboard laps. Over here. While well, Sonic Horse is your leader. Let's take some onboard laps with her. Here we go. I actually have never seen this racetrack. And never driven on it as well. Larry Hagen in second position. Looking at Sonic Horse in the 51 car. To his inside goes Nick Caps. And you can see this racetrack actually has a lot of grip. And somebody is on pit road over there. Oh, oh, oh Debbie Myers hit the wall. And that's PJ Williams who's on pit road, so... Debbie Myers in the 767 car. <laughs> I want to say 70 car because I see Falcon Tires. And the Phillips Cup Series, the number 17 car is sponsored by Falcon Tires. So... See how busy it is over here. Car, this racetrack it does have a lot of grip, but cars still tend to get all squirrely off the corners and wiggly in the corners. That doesn't work. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, and a Greg suddenly slowed down. You see that sometimes. I don't know why these cars do that. Of course, it's a new racetrack to the series. We have never been here. I have never heard of it. Was, um... A, ooh, into the wall goes the 38 car. That is probably what happened to the other ones as well. And there goes John Ciudino talking about him. He is the one who sent me this racetrack. So we want to thank John. Well, he, at least he gave the idea of using this one. And I found it, so thanks a lot to John Cidadino. And there was another racetrack, which was, uh, I'm not sure what racetrack it was. Somebody gave me a tip on that, so I, which I might use uh, for the fifth race, which is still an unknown. So Denise Van Leeuw is still racing though, with all her damage. And here's Sonic Horse, she has fallen back, in all the time we went from the back to the front, she has fallen back outside of the top 10, that is how fast things go over here. Chris Washer is trying to take the lead from the 88 car of Nick Caps. And right behind him is the, this is I think the, the 63 car. Indeed of dumb Caps. Oh, the caution is out. And somebody has hit hard and it's Sean Howell I believe. Yes indeed. Sean Howell and we have a big one over here. Once again, Gabe Williams involved 10th in points. Oh my, we have another big crash over here. Who else was involved? I don't know. Fact is, Chris Washer led them back to the line. So, uh, I want to take a look. Not a good race for the Williamses. They are good in points, but oh, I think only, only these two guys. And um, eventually they have retired. Well, one of them has retired. So, the leader is Chris Washer. Pace car still a little bit slow. Um, that's all because of the pace car <laughs> running into the pit ball when it and exits the pits. I can adjust that and I will adjust that possibly. So we kind of have to take a look how to adjust that. Somebody gave me a tip on it. I also did it for the Syracuse racetrack. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Washer. Well, he was scored. He was the leader, but not anymore. <laughs> He's not scored as the leader, but actually he is the leader. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Washer in the 68 car is in the lead. Let's take a look at the third caution of today. Another big crash. Good grief, you thought the third, the first drag, what was it? the second drag was spectacular. 
My, my, my. This race track is, seems to be very dangerous, so it's not sure if we continue to race over here. Look at what's going to happen. Well, not, we might, but then uh, with adjustments to the racetrack. Game Williams, same thing as what Kyle Thomas did, but then a little bit more spectacular. Hits the wall. Boom. Airborne. Right over the 77 car. Right in front of Sean Howell. Nowhere to go. Straight into her. Gabe Williams, that is 10th in points with an unbelievable crash over here. I have never seen anything like this before. Sean Howell slams into the wall on the inside. This is insane. Another look at this. My goodness. That's absolutely insane. We're going to take two onboards over here. One is with the 15 car of Gabe Williams. Here we go. Roof cam. Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good grief. Ouch. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, actually, I have. Tabaldea, of course. So, Denise van Leeuwen. We want to go onboard with her. Look at this. I'm not sure if this will exactly work, but... We look at 15 car. Oh my goodness. She went right underneath that 15 car. This is amazing. You suddenly see the 50. Oh wow. Have you ever. No I have never. Look at this. Oh my goodness. A little bit closer please. Ray Takeda. Look at this. Not the best camera angle, but that was a big hit for Gabe Williams. We hope that she's all right as well. Seems like this dirt racing is indeed pretty dangerous, but we already knew that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Washer in the 68 cars in the lead, trying to go for a second win of the season. But first, he has to beat some other good cars. Let's take you back to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are backing. I think it's pretty obvious that. Gabe Williams and Sean Howell are out of this race. The 15 car is also out of the race. And that is actually Gabe Williams, excuse me. I'm looking at the 19 car, who's uh, two laps down, still racing down. So forget what I said. Gabe Williams is out of the race, so. We got Chris Washer in the lead. Second is Andrew Robinson. Third, Dom Caps. Fourth, Nick Caps. Wow, Capses. Fifth, we got Daniel Voyle. Sixth, Jordan Culp. Seventh is the 17 car of Larry Hagen. Eighth, we got Harrietta Fiswell. I haven't talked about her all day long. Ninth on the course. And tenth, Annie Thomas. The green flag is going to fly over here, ladies and gentlemen. We only have 19 laps to go. The green flag is out. And there was somebody who went, had an amazing start over there. And look at PJ Williams. Wow. Well, PJ Williams thinks, heck of it, I want that lap back. Well, he has to fight for two more laps back, so... And now he's a little bit slow, and he's holding up 25 car. And Chris Washer might have hit the wall over there. Nobody... Well, probably some other people hit the wall as well, but... I think the, um, the racing speed of these cars is a little bit too high. I put it at 110%. Normally I do 100%. Oh, another one! Another one! Annie Thomas. Oh my... Annie Thomas, exactly the same. Debbie Myers involved. RJ Bishop. Le um, Le Jeff Levi. Da that is Zachary Robinson. Another one. Hit the pit wall over here. And more cars are out of this race now. And scored as their leader, I think is... I don't know who is. Dom Caps, I think. I think Dom Caps is in the lead, so... Yeah, weird pace car. This has turned into a wreck fest, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, we're not going to see any more of these crashes. Fact is that, um, well, caution number four is already. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you at, to the replays. Man, I really need to fix that wall over there. This is just stupid, but already, once again, apologies to you, everybody over here, that they that I let them race over here. Dangerous racetrack. Annie Thomas slams into the wall. Anna Gregg, Dom or Zachary Robinson. Yeah, Zachary Robinson. Debbie Myers, Jeff Levi, RJ Bishop. All involved in this huge crash. 
another extremely hard hit for Annie Thomas. Um, so I really hope that these guys are all right after these crashes. Well, this is just insane. Oh, look at Ray Takada getting loose over there. Look at that. Nice save though, but ouch. Wow. Insane. Let's go onward over here with the 99 car of Jeff Levi. He was all the way, he was the last one to hit the uh, 13 car. Let's see. Onward with Jeff Levi. There it happens. Wow. Something you don't want to see out of your windshield. A car flying straight at you. Wow. And down caps, ladies and gentlemen, is in the lead. We are going to take you back to the green flag right now. So, it seems like this race is indeed a wreck fest. We got Dom Caps in the lead. Second is Nick Caps. What? Third is uh, Daniel Voiles. Fourth, we got Andrew Robinson. Fifth, Sonic Course. Sixth, we got uh, Chris Washer. Seventh is Jordan Cup. Eighth, Henrietta Fitzwater. Uh, ninth, <laughs> Zachary Fitzwater. So, teammates all together. And in tenth position, I don't know how, but Denise only in tenth. So, she wins this race. It's going to be nuts. PJ Williams and Justin Yee are a couple of laps down. Uh, 69, 96 cards, one lap down, 19 card two. All the others are out of the race. Jeff Levi, Anna Gregg, uh, Zachary Robinson, Debbie Myers as the green flag is out once again. And 60, actually, uh, Anna Gregg, is she's still on pit road, so I'm not sure why and how. But And uh, 13 car of Annie Thomas also out of this race, so... Oh my. Oh wow. It was actually a little bit earlier. Luckily not too big of a crash. But once again it involved the 77 car of Denise van Leeuwen. Crashed early. Fought her way back up in top 10. And then crashed again. Together with Larry Hagen. So. Fact is that Domcaps is still in the lead. And we're going to take you to the replays once again. Caution number 5. Well, Denise van Leeuwen thought about making a good run in for Denise Steinhauer for her in points. But it seems like this has not been her day and she gets wrecked all the time. This time Larry Hagen just drove it a little bit too deep into turns number 3. And just went straight into the 77 car. Up the racetrack they both went and into the wall. Pretty hard. Luckily not as hard as the other ones. Jane Pinter almost got a piece of that as well. Mm, Joseph Vanessa did get a piece of it. That was close. Luckily, nobody hit that damn wall over there. So, it was just for, well, today, what we've seen today, a minor incident. Larry Hagen, Denise van Leeuwen into the wall. And Joseph Ness also gets a small piece of it. Luckily, not too big of a piece. So. Dom Caps in the 63 car is still your leader. Let's take you back to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, the Napa 250, we, when we go green flag racing, we'll have seven laps to go. We got Dom Caps in the lead. Second position is not the 19 car. He's a lap down. Second position is Dom Caps, so Caps is still 1-2. Sonne Course in third position. Daniel Voyles in fourth. Chris Washer in fifth. Harry out of six water is sixth. Fitz, six water is sixth. <laughs> six water is sixth. <laughs> Fitzwater in 6th, the 25th car of Andrew Robinson is 7th, 8th is uh, Jordan Culp, 9th <laughs> Zachary Sixwater, no just kidding, uh, Zachary Fitzwater and in 10th position is Ray Takeda, Justin Yee is also a lap down or a couple of laps down, uh, well it wasn't one lap down eh, uh, yep yeah, copy that, and still I think, oh the 77 car is also out the race, the 17 car might be running still, yeah there he is, so. Denise Van Leeuwen gave up. And Dom Caps is driving away over here. Oh, all because of... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I'm going to hold my heart for the next six laps. My goodness. Chris Washer on the move. Go to the inside of the number 12 car. Of Zach, of uh, Daniel Voyles. Keep it straight, guys. Thank you. Seems like everything is still going fine. But Don Caps is in the lead. He has been one of the, he has had one of the strongest cars today. Daniel Voyles as well, and Zachary Fitzwater is starting to work his way to the front. 
But he has to do it quickly if he wants to win this race. Just four more laps to go. Can anybody chase down the number 63 car of Dom Caps? Late, uh, um, we haven't seen that many late race passes except for the first race, Sonic Course, who passed with Anna Greg with two laps to go. Orange County, not as well. So in the last race, it's not either. So it doesn't, well, it does look pretty good for Dom Caps over here in the number 63 car. We have two and a half more laps to go. He has to hold off the uh, 12 car of Daniel Voyles. If the caution comes out, the race is over. So far, so good. Two more laps to go. Dom Caps is in the lead. Can Daniel Voyles do anything about him? Nick Caps in third position and Son of Course in fourth. Well, she's not going to make it. Nick Caps either. It's going to be a battle between the 63 and the 12 car. But I'm not sure how big this battle is going to be. Dom Caps, here comes Daniel Voyles though. Daniel Voyles, can he make it a last lap pass? Uh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, but not close enough. Dom Caps wins it over here. And Sonic Horse pulls on pit road. What a heartbreaker for her. She was sixth in points, look at that. For some reason, pulled on pit road, finishing in 18th position. And Daniel Vo I want to see the difference. Wow. 86, 68 one thousandths of a second between Dom Caps and Daniel Voyles. Hard fought battle, hard fought race, race. What a race it was actually. But oh, so painful to watch it sometimes. That pit wall, they have to, re to um, repair that thing. And we have to um, lower the... Um, speed of these cars as you can see yeah, here you can see the opponent strength is 110 and it has to be lower then I think these cars might be uh, able to save but why did we do it like this well a lot of passing so simply like that so apologies to everybody involved in crashes and hopefully we don't have any injuries though I highly doubt that so fact is that Don Caps did win this race and if I'm correct, this is his first win indeed in the series. Uh, yeah. So, another first time winner. We have a fourth to first time winner. Son of course, Chris Watcher, Jane Pinter, and Dom Caps, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Voyles in second position. Nick Caps, two caps. Amazing job by them. In third position, and Nick Caps will remain your points leader with one point over Daniel Voyles. How is this possible? Nick Caps is first in points. Daniel Voyles second. They finish second and third. Or third and second, respectively. So <laughs> that is amazing. That will be the points leaders. Well, with one points difference, Nick Caps in with um, well, calculations, one hundred and fifty-three points, and Daniel Voice then with one hundred and fifty-two. Well, one hundred fifty-two points for um, Nick Caps, and one hundred and fifty-one points for Daniel Voyles. So, wow, Jordan. I rest my case over here. Jordan Culp is third in points and finishing in fourth. Now, if PJ Williams would have finished in fifth position, that would be too beautiful. But your points, persons who are first, second, and third in points, finishing second, third, and fourth. Jackson Brown in fifth position. Well, finally a good run for him as well. 19th he is in points. So, and Zachary Fitzwater. Ah, 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 beautiful. Fifth in points, finishing in sixth. Jane Pinter in the number 7 car, finishing in 13th position, so, excuse me, finishing in 7th position, 13th in points he is, so. Harrietta Fitzwater in the 11 car, uh, is 23rd in points, so not too good for her, she finished in 8th. Joseph Nesto, also two t both his cars are in the top 10, he is in 9th, so that's great. And Andrew Robinson, his teammate, did not finish, but he did in 10th position, so. Once again, the heartbreaker, this time for Sonic Course, last time it was for, um... Jeff Levi, who pulled on pit road to the final lap. I do want to take a quick look at it, what happened. Uh, I think she might have brushed the wall a little bit too hard. She j she did fight pretty hard this whole race long. Her te two teammates both did not finish, so... Oh, good grief. That's a far la long way back. There we see, I think it actually might be the same problem as what Jeff, Jeff Levi had on board. On board with her. Let's do the engine. Stuttering, stuttering, stuttering. No drive. Yeah, I think she had just had no drive. And is she 
smoking out here. Yeah, I think looking at the engine, she is smoking. So a hard break for Sonic Horse in the final lap. Yeah, we put down off the smoke a little bit to be able to see these cars pretty good. But I'm going to end that after the dirt series because we do want to see if the car blows up. Might have been the same story for. And the caution is out. Oh. Oh, goodies. <laughs> goodies. What? <laughs> we had a caution over here. Nothing else happened, I think. No. So it was. What? Jane Pinter. Jane Pinter and Harry had a Fitzwater. Contact. Oh, good grief. I hadn't even noticed this. And Jane Pinter goes into the wall together with the 11 car. Screwing up their race, so the hard brakes for them as well. Holy cow. Was this actually during the race or after the race? Actually, I think it was after the race. So, whew, whew, that's lucky for them. My goodness. This race has really been nuts. Still, the lights on the pace car are out, but, well, it wasn't, caution, it wasn't an official caution, so... Five cautions, however, is the record this season. We've had three, four, and five for three cautions uh, for two times now, and four cautions for one time. Now we outfit five cautions. However, only 20 cars finished. So, well, it isn't too bad, actually. Only 12 cars retired. Only 12 cars retired. All with pretty hard legs, so we hope they are all all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Caps once again finishing his third. Oh, we have, don't really have to go to the point standings over here. Well, First, second, third in points, all finished in second, third, and fourth. PJ Williams was fourth in points, and he finished in 20th. So that's going to be a heartbreak for him, especially because Zachary Fitzwater finished in sixth position, fifth in points. So he's going to fly by him. Sandra Kors in a 51 car, heartbreak for her as well, finishing in 18th position. She was sixth in points. Anna Gregg in a 60 car, finishing in 22nd. Um, Justin Yee in number 60, the 96 car, finishing in 19th. Hmm. Gabe Williams in the 15 car. Um, did not finish either, 28th. And Chris Washer in a 68 car finished in 12th. Seems like it's going to be uh, a party with Nick Caps, Daniel Voyles, Jordan Culp, and Zachary Fitterswater as they all have opened up a pretty big gap after the race simply because of getting good finishes. Top 5 finishes, well, top 6 finishes, and all the others not finishing in the top 10. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see how this point standings will uh, end up. And for now, I want to thank you for watching. These four races, now we're going on a one and a half uh, week break, a little bit, well actually it's going to be almost a two week break, well pretty much it's going to be a two week break. Uh, we have one more video for you, which will be up after this race, which will be uploaded tomorrow. It's a surprise video and a thank you video and a enjoy uh, video. Some memories shared over there, it will, be <laughs> it will be a great video. I finished it already so, just have to upload it. Um, but I will do that tomorrow before I leave over to France. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Dom Cass picking up his first career win. Congratulations to Nick Cass still being the points leader. One point over Daniel Foyles. Oh goodness. So, and we're just going to say uh, till we meet again next time, which will be at an unknown racetrack still. I will still have to do some testing. Brewerton, Brewerton Fonda, Canandaigua and the other track which um, the person uh, commented on the first video said I st forgot what it was I have looked at it I have a test I will do that first uh, when I come back not before that most likely as I'm pretty busy the next few days so ladies and gentlemen um, well we'll see you next time with the UNOH 250 then we'll go to Utica Rome for the x 250 Minnesota Falcon Tire 250 and Syracuse for the final Masquerade 300 it's gonna be a heck of a season. We're halfway home and everybody is still very close together in points. Nobody, We don't know who the points leader will be. Everything is still wide open. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time with the Dasker Shell Dirt Ringer Series Season 3 2014 here on RTL 7.